When I was diagnosed as being profoundly deaf at 14 months old, my mother's first instinct was to go to the public library to find out as much as she could about deafness. She checked out a book from 1972. <laughs> the internet and its giants such as Google, Facebook and Twitter were all in their rudimentary stages when I was diagnosed. In fact, apart from my cochlear implants themselves, I didn't use any electronic devices to do my auditory verbal therapy. Just good old-fashioned picture books, building blocks, and toys. However, the world has changed tremendously over the past 15 years. The internet is now a mighty and powerful tool, providing so much support and connectivity, and allowing massive amounts of information to be transferred quickly wherever you are. Access to the internet is now considered a basic human right. The use of devices, apps, and other technologies is now an everyday occurrence and useful in the habilitation and support of deaf children and their parents. I am now a very normal teenager who uses the internet to connect with my peers and the world in general. Cochlear implants and auditory verbal therapy have completely transformed my life. I find it difficult to imagine a world in which I cannot hear and fully participate in the hearing community. I am a hearing, speaking, deaf person, a new phenomenon, part of a new generation. However, I sometimes feel like I'm torn between the two worlds. Neither truly hearing nor truly deaf, I don't quite fit people's stereotypes of deafness. People often come up to me and ask, what's that on your ears? So I tell them I'm deaf, to which they then say, you can't be deaf, you can hear me right now. Well, yes, I am deaf, I'm just not your definition of deafness. The hearing speaking deaf are an underrepresented minority group whose society as a whole does not fully appreciate or understand. We are all in a position to make deafness less different and more mainstream, more acceptable and better understood by those in the hearing world. We are now poised to be advocates and ambassadors for hearing speaking deaf people. We can advocate and articulate, debate and demonstrate, communicate and educate. The internet and the media are powerful tools in allowing us to do that. We can use the internet and social media to instantly connect with people all around the world, allowing us to broadcast and raise awareness of the extremely diverse nature of deafness, raise funds and obtain sponsors for individuals, increase public and government support for the hearing impaired. We need politicians and government support to help us be better represented and to help provide greater awareness of the capabilities of the hearing, speaking, deaf and their achievements and contributions to society. And that's where you come in. It's thanks to you all that these phenomenal people around me today have had the opportunity to be here and share our stories. Let's continue this relationship and look forward to a brighter, louder future. I'd finally like to take the opportunity to thank Cochlear, the Hearing House through First Voice, and my parents for enabling me to speak like I do. The organisers of the Power of Speech competition for providing me this opportunity to talk to you today, and the audience for listening to me. Thank you.